Have you ever wondered how Scar came to be the bad guy? How Scar, Fleagle's adopted brother, came to be the villain he now is? Well, it all started before the 1960s show. Scar was adopted as a... was abandoned by his parents be, because his parents are, hated him and called him a disgrace to his species. So they abandoned him out of no reason. A few years later, Scar Tuck, Taka was adopted by by both Legal's parents, William and Mary, and they took good care of the leopard. By the time Scar was, was ten years old, he had grown a, a, a good relationship with Legal, but at school, it was a completely different story. He'd get tormented daily by, by, other, by older students, but one day, he would soon get the Scar that would, that would stay for life. He was, he was basically enjoying his break time when a Titana boa, boa known as Kevin, came up to him, came up to him and and bit him over the eye, which gave him his, which gave him his scar. When scar, when Taka went home, Flegel decided. Decided to do a friendly joke on Scar on Taka and nickname him Scar. However, that did not sit well with Taka, and he ignored Flegel after that. A few friends he did make in school were ki were were a deformed Huggy Wuggy toy known as Huggy known as Killy Willy, and a dinosaur hybrid known as the Indominus Rex. One day, Scar. Life would change forever as a purple tank engine known as Lady came up to him saying he had potential to become the next guardian of the magic buffers. Scar, being intrigued by this, took the advantage. Did Scar trained a lot with Lady until he was he was gifted the when Lady when when Lady when Scar was was properly trained for a couple of weeks, Lady gifted him the Roar of the Elders, which gave him great power. By the time he was at Silverdust, Scar was, or, but he was already five minutes away from getting the Gold Dust. But, but that day, things would never be the same again. Scar grew a bit too arrogant and used a, and used a move that. That was that was prohibited not to be used by any rookies, not even the ones on Silver Dust. He used his roar of the elders and created a giant explosion with, which nearly destroyed Banana Splitsville. Lady had to abruptly stop the test and subdue the leopard. Seeing Lady as a traitor, Scar Scar ambushed her. Scar attacked her. The attacked her with his Silver Dust. With his silver dust, and but silver dust was unsuperior to gold dust, and was and was eventually brought down. After the scars, after scars move, brought banana spitzel to ruins, almost half of it. Workmen had to spend days, nights, weeks, and months repairing the damage that scar made. As for scar. He was scolded by William and and banished to the Outlands. Scar stayed there for a good couple of years, about three, until he returned to Banana Splitsville, and what he saw left him ang left him mad. There in his bedroom was an was a Velociraptor lying on his bed. Then William came and told Scar that, and told Scar that, that, that to pre, that, that as a precaution for no more accidents, he was would be replaced by a blue. That was the final straw for the leopard. Something changed that day inside Scar. Something snapped. He brought back Killy Willie and Indy and told them what what happened. Killy Will 
Indy and Killy Willy were furious and and agreed to help him. A few years later, Scar did his famous crime of of pushing Flegel's father over a cliff. During Flegel's first battle with Scar, Scar d transformed into a dimension hopping demonic known as Nightmare Taka. Taka. And after that, Scar wouldn't be seen for a good couple of years. That w That is, until the Banana Splits went to Jurassic Park and when they had their adventure to save the Firebird.